Good morning students. Today I am going to start new chapter that is the world of birds. The main objectives of this chapter are to identify the different parts of a bird, to distinguish between flying, flightless and aquatic birds, to identify different types of beaks, and feet of birds to classify different nests based on their structure to understand why birds build their nest and the last to appreciate parental care shown by birds. First I will discuss the big picture of this lesson. In this chapter, we will study about the special features of a bird's body, types of birds, eating habits of birds, types of beaks, feet and claws of birds, nests of birds and the last is care of young ones. Now open your book on page 35. First, I will discuss the terms that will come in this chapter. These are flying birds, flightless birds, aquatic birds, grasping birds, scratching birds, swimming birds, perching birds, running birds, climbing birds and the last is wading birds. While we go through the chapter, we will discuss all these terms turn by turn. Now, students, let's start reading. Have you ever woken up to the chirping of birds in the morning? Underline word chirping and write its meaning sound made by birds. If you look out of your window, you will see lots of different birds flying from place to place. They are all very beautiful. Students, you must have seen a variety of birds all around you. For example, parrot, pigeon, sparrow, crow, and manna. These are the various examples of birds that you see around you. Students birds are of various colors and sizes and birds are beautiful creatures that can fly. They fly in search of food and shelter. Now come along Look at the picture of a bird given below. Write the names of its body parts in the blank boxes. Number 1 This is head. Number 2 This is eye. Number 3 This is beak. Number 4 These are wings. Number 5, this is tail and the last is claws. These are the various body parts of bird's body. Now come to the next page. Birds are unique and fascinating animals. They can sit, walk and fly in the sky. Underline word unique and write its meaning special. Then underline word fascinating and write its meaning interesting. Students, how do we walk? We have feet to walk and to stand. But the birds normally fly with their wings and sometimes they stand or sit 
on their claws to take some rest or to eat grains or the food stuff they like students now look at this picture and follow these steps to draw a bird after drawing you are able to label the parts of bird's body these are head eye beak wings tail and the last is claws students now you are able to draw the bird's body with their parts on your copy now let's revise name the different birds that you see in your surrounding crow sparrow pigeon parrot etc my second question name the body parts of a bird head eye wings beak tail and claws are the body parts of a bird students tomorrow i will continue with the next topic till then read the chapter and draw a bird and label its parts on copy thank you